Every year, the U.S. imports more and more produce, fresh fruits and vegetables from Mexico. And every year, wages have stayed the same for the people that harvest that produce. Sometimes, the last people to touch the fruit bought by U.S. consumers. But after years of long, hot days and stagnant pay, workers left the fields and took to the streets to demand better working conditions and a living wage. The response from the government was swift and fierce. This was the first time in over a decade a strike like this has happened in Mexico. In this episode of Fault Lines, we went to meet the people picking so much of the food we eat in the United States and asked what is keeping them at the bottom of our food system. The murder case of Alton Tuya Sharibu, a 28-year-old Mongolian translator whose body was blown to bits in the Malaysian jungle, has just about everything. It's a shocking tale, the gruesome murder of a young Mongolian woman. And it's one the Malaysian government doesn't want us to tell. I'm being deported. Why she was killed, no one knows, fueling suspicions of a massive cover-up. On the night of the 19th of October 2006, Alton Tuya Sharabu was bundled into an unmarked car taken from outside a house in the suburbs of Malaysia's capital, Kuala Lumpur, she was driven out of the city to a remote jungle clearing. I won't say anything. What happened was just like in the movies. I've seen such terrible things only in the movies. But this time, the movie became my reality. Somewhere between 10 p.m. and 1 a.m., Alton Tuya was shot in the head with a high-powered semi-automatic weapon. Military-grade explosives were then strapped to her body and detonated. Al-Qaeda was the main reason that the Americans said they were going into Afghanistan and not the Taliban. Are you still of the view that Al-Qaeda is more of a myth than a reality? It's what you said last year. You also said you weren't even sure that they existed. Really? Exactly. That's my view today as well that Al-Qaeda is a myth? It is for me a myth. I have never had a report from any Afghan source on the Al-Qaeda or what they were doing. We don't see them, we cannot visualize them. For us, they don't exist. I've never had a report from our intelligence. I've never had a report from our uh, people. Um, uh, I've never come across them. So uh, for me, it's um, a myth. On September the 11th, 2001, was Al-Qaeda operating in Afghanistan? I have come across the Taliban, I've come across uh, uh, other groups. Uh, I don't know if, if, if Al-Qaeda existed or, and, and I don't know if they exist. Uh, for me, it's a myth. I have, to, I, have to be, I have to feel tangible about it before I can say they are there. Well, reports say they are there, but I have no information per se. 